how to get more FPS on Roblox. Pretty much, this is pretty much teaching you how to get more FPS on Roblox. So say if you're on like a laptop, maybe something that's not an amazing PC, like I think my PC is pretty good enough to actually run Roblox itself on like the maximum FPS. But I know people, they will have not as good computers, not so good laptops and other stuff like that. And the game might be a little bit laggy. And yeah, most of that is depending on your FPS. So I'll be teaching you how to actually boost your FPS on Roblox. So this is pretty good to be fair. So what I'm going to do right now, and just before I do that as well, I'm also right now hosting a huge giveaway on this channel where pretty much I give away viewers on this on this video 100,000 Robux each. Yes, that is right. You could literally be a winner yourself. So if you want 100,000 Robux, just subscribe to this channel, leave a like on this video, turn on post notifications, and of course, comment down below your Roblox username. Once you do that, I will add you on Roblox, and we can take it from there. Um, to take, I can't even speak. Take it from there, pretty much. So yeah, also my group, what is my group name? It is Reckless-Roblox right here. Reckless-Roblox. I mean, I, this is just guaranteed, I guess, if you get my clothes, but you'll get it anyway, pretty much. So it doesn't really matter too much. But yeah, anyway, so start off right now. So obviously right now I'm just chilling in the Please Donate game. I don't really play that much, to be fair. But yeah, right now, this is like the maximum FPS right here. It looks all nice and smooth. Also, this is the best thing right here. And I'm assuming some people might have done that already. So start off by lowering your graphics right here so obviously right here my graphics quality so if it's on automatic already it'll i don't know what it does really but it might not do with that but if you put it on manual right here and then just lower it to the bottom right here and of course it lowers your graphics but it also helps your pc run better because it's not loading as many graphics and this is the first way to obviously boost your fps really a lot of people might not like it but again i don't really care about graphics personally i just have it on because why not like, I, i'm good enough anyway but it's not that bad. Maybe you could try it on two, maybe two on two. Oh yeah, so number two we can load. Yeah, it's not too bad. Yeah, maybe having like five. So around four. So yeah, after five it loads in shadows, and yeah, it's pretty good to be fair. But yeah, for me anyway, I'm just gonna have it on maximum. But literally, check your graphics quality, check it out, and yeah. So the next step from here. Now, if you guys go right here, if you. On your so as you see at the bottom left there's like a little windows key so what you want to do from here is right click on that windows key and press task manager it should look a bit like this it loaded up on my other monitor but it'll look a bit like this sometimes I, it should i think if you've never if you've never been on it before it'll look a bit like this right here with all your programs loading up so press more details so now obviously fps is based around your cpu how much your cpu is actually using so if it's too high obviously that means your pc is literally like it's going nuts and they will obviously cause lower your fps in the game so what you want to do from here is to go to your details and what i do from here it should normally be just like um alphabetical right here but right here so where it says right here memory click on this so it's like sorted by the highest right here so of course my streaming well what i'm recording on right now is using the most like um cpu but also there's also like chrome but obviously you need chrome so what i mean by this is right here is to get rid of programs that you're not using so right here as as you see right here metal encoder now what metal is for me it's like a clipping thing so it'll always run in the background and just in case something does happen i can clip it instantly now i don't really use it really i'll I never really use it so i want to get rid of this so I, from here i'm just gonna press right click right here and press end task right here and then end process and yeah as you see it's gone right there so my pc will run a bit more smoother knowing that there's less like stuff in the background and for all these at the bottom i didn't touch these because some of these are actually quite important like some stuff like that snap camera that's um, for your webcam again you can turn that off because if you're not using your webcam because you're playing roblox you don't really need it 
uh, Skype, I'm not even using Skype, I haven't used Skype in so long, I don't know why that's even on there, but again, I can press that and press um, end task if I wanted to, but yeah, that is another way to actually boost your FPS on Roblox, so if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, and yeah, that's about it.